Hi Leo, Vince here for 7D Tarot. Welcome to your reading. Leo, today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see you coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. And stay tuned until the end of your reading while we'll use Oracle cards, and I'll pull your affirmation for today and a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in, see what we got going on. Whoa, major changes are about to happen. Wheel of Fortune, you also got the Strength card. Your angels and guys are telling you that your luck, your fortune is about to change. And right now, the only thing preventing this from happening is confidence. Confidence to take the leap, leap of faith. What does that mean? Right now, in order for you to really be able to change your financial situation, you have to be confident enough to start something you're passionate about. In order to meet your soulmate, you have to be confident in what you bring to the table. This is the only thing that's limiting you right now. Limiting belief, a belief that's limiting. I'll give you an example. Right now, I used to have a limiting belief that my family came from poverty, so I will never be rich. I wasn't confident enough to start a business. Then I understood this was like when I was a child. I understood that this is a belief that's limiting me. This is not real. So many people came from poverty and they're millionaires, if not billionaires. Why can't I do it, right? So all of a sudden that went. My sister had a limiting belief that she was big boned and would never be fit. Completely false. Once we figured out calories in, calories out, she's telling me she got six pack abs on six pack abs. So right now your angels and guys are telling you that confidence is needed. So what does that really mean? At the end of the day, Right now you got the uh, uh, King of Swords and you also have, where was it? And you also have the Hermit. At the end of the day, if you don't want to procrastinate, hesitate, and if you instead want to be you know, someone who is very strategic, someone who is very confident, ambitious, charismatic, all you have to do is understand knowledge is confidence, right? Like you're not confident, you don't come out the womb confident. For example, if I wanted to be confident in business, Market research, due diligence, study the company's balance sheet. That's how you invest in stuff. If you want to be confident in love, study the human psyche. What do they want? What do they want? They want what you want. Fun and excitement. That's it. That's all anybody wants. Fun and excitement, right? Now, if you want to be confident in health, learn macronutrients, right? And that's what's going on here. Right now, your angels and guides are telling you that you are on the cusp of a major transformation. And right now your angels and guides are reminding you that it's your birthright to be rich. It's your birthright to be with your soulmate. You're meant to have it all, but in order to have it all, you have to be ready. And that's all it comes down to. And being ready means being confident. So grab a little bit of knowledge and wisdom, and then everything will become effortless for you, right? Now, very interesting, you got grace, gratitude, reflection, and connection. So there's a very powerful connection being formed between you and someone in your life. This is someone could be from the past or this could be a new person entering your life. And right now your angels and guides are telling you to focus on the solution and not the problems in your life. And this connection will manifest immediately. You always manifest who you are, not what you want. In order to manifest someone you have a strong connection with, you first and foremost have to look for solutions in your life and not problems. So when it rains, that's not a problem. When it rains, that's a solution. Why? Because it's gonna get greener. When there's traffic, that's not a problem. When there's traffic, it's great. Why? Because you're gonna put on an audio book or a podcast. Podcast. Do you see where I'm going with this, right? It's all perception. Yes, it's raining. Yes, you're in traffic, but it doesn't mean you have to lower your frequency and not have this person enter your life. And that's why your angels and guides are telling you that it is so important to fill your heart full of gratitude, grace, poise, excitement, because gratitude is the cheat code in getting what you are looking for. Now, very interesting, gentle reminder, right? You got the eight of wands and you also had the uh, um, nine of swords. Right now, this is a gentle reminder from your angels not to be hard on yourself. Anytime you're hard on yourself because your mind is always eavesdropping on what you have to say, you are self-sabotaging, right? You're just killing your luck or fortune. Your angels and guides are telling you, don't be hard on yourself. They don't want this for one reason. Not for one second do your angels want you to be hard on yourself. For example, imagine you are holding a dish and it drops and breaks. Rather than be like, I'm so stupid, why did I do this? Crack a joke. Be like, uh-oh, Butterfingers won't do it again. Learn from the lesson. So for example, imagine that you're telling yourself, ah, you know, I am a certain age. I should have been married by now. Do not do that. Tell yourself, I have collected a lot of data. I know what I want and don't want. And now I'm going to build some, take some time, build myself, which can be done with an overnight, guys, right? Like right now, remember, you manifest who you are, not what you want. 
Who do you want your soulmate to be? What time do you want them to wake up? 4 a.m. or 4 p.m.? Wake up at that time. What do you want them to eat? Cheetos or carrots? Wake up at that time. What do you want them to think about? Negative or positive? Think about that. When you do that, like electrical current, immediately you get your manifestation. And that's why your angels and guides are telling you to carry yourself with poison and grace because you're going to attract this person back into your life. Now, very interesting. You got the Ace of Cups and the Seven of Cups. Right now, your angels are telling you multiple offerings, multiple synchronicities, multiple people, multiple moments, multiple monumental uh, events are about to take place for you. This is very exciting. Uh, right now, all of these things take place for you when you are expecting, commanding, and assuming them. I'll give an example. The, in this fractal holographic universe we live in, it's made out of adrenaline code codes. You know, you know, you heard of simulation theory. What this really means is like how you think and how you feel creates your state of being. Quantum entanglement have proven that. Now, that was the disclaimer to let you know that you are co-creators of your reality. It is so important to be aware of this, right? Your angels and guides are telling you that you are able to change your circumstances with the least amount of effort. You know how you, you go to work, you jump in a car, you drive there, you stay there for eight hours, you come home, two weeks later you get paid? Well, that's a lot of work. It takes a lot of energy. You can change your circumstances by doing that and then coming home and rather than watching Netflix or before you go to sleep, I like to do it before I go to sleep, just visualizing your circumstances changing, visualizing you walking into a coffee shop, having a conversation with someone and them liking you and offering you a job that changes your life, visualizing you bumping into your soulmate as you're pumping gas, anything. But when you really take some time, reflect, right? This is why it's so important. A little bit of reflection time. This is when you're banking in that mystical, spiritual, and quantum energy we just spoke of. This is you thinking and feeling and attracting what you're looking for. This is you not wishing, wanting, hoping, needing, which is scarcity, but instead commanding, assuming, expecting. Grab a pen and paper, write down with intention what you're looking for. For example, imagine I wanted to have a business that made $10 million a month and, you know, I sold, you know, uh, potatoes, right? Just whatever. I'd, I'd write this down. Wow, today's the three-year anniversary of us making $3 million a month. It's absolutely amazing. I have, I, we sold over 10 tons of potatoes this year and we're only getting better. But when you start commanding, assuming, expecting, that's when energy starts flowing. You got the justice card, eight of pentacles. Your angels are telling you that. Anything you're looking for, Leo, is right here for you, but your feelings do have to align with what you're looking for because that's the indicator that you're on the right path and your feelings only align with abundance when you're doing the things that honor your joy and bliss. So for example, think happy thoughts, get happy things. You know, when you are doing things that inspire you, you know, for example, like cleaning the house, like something you have to do anyway, but if you look at it from the perspective of, oh, I gotta clean the house today, or wow, man, I can't wait to make this place fresh, it's all perspective. Going to work. Oh, I gotta go to work today. I hate it. Or, man, I can't wait to go pay off some bills, right? It's all perspective. And that perspective of abundance, wow, it works every single time. Now, speaking of abundance, let's get some money and some love into your life. All you gotta do is write down the following affirmation in the comment section. You're gonna quantum entangle with abundance, which is your birthright. And right now, your angels and guides will deliver this by you letting them know you're commanding, assuming, expecting this. Now, make sure you write this down in the comment section, but you are breathing life into it. Feeling is the secret. You have to feel these words, and then you will ignite them. It works every single time. So write this down in the comment section. Look at this. I let go of what I can't change, right? You can't change traffic. You can't change the weather. Most importantly, I let go of what I can't change means I let go of the past. You can't change the past. Why are you going back in the past trying to change things? Don't do it. It's a waste of time. I let go of what I can't change. Write this down in the comment section. Give this video a like right now and let your angels and guides know that you are fully aware that you are ready for new outcomes, new possibilities, and the potential. I let go of what I can't change. Write that down in the comment section right now. And let your angels and guides know that you are ready. All right, final message from your spirit guides. If they once loved, loved you, they still do. Yes, please. And right now their message is, thanks for every single time you ever fell in love, whether or not it was obvious, whether or not it lasted, whether or not you were loved back, it changed everything. Actually, you're always loved back. Love is the key that unlocks all the doors in this third dimension. Love is happiness, peace, and joy, and it leads to romance. Right now, using love, using love to get anything you're looking for. I'll give an example. Imagine you want to get a promotion at work. 
If you use hate, it won't work. Like you go to your boss and say, give me a promotion or I quit. Whoa, good luck with that. But imagine you use love. Hey, I love working here. Nothing makes me happier than to be here for the next 10 years. I know exactly how to raise team morale. If I get a promotion, I will feel inclined. I will feel motivated to do this. This is why I deserve a promotion. Balls in your court, planting the seed, TGIF, have a great weekend. Who do you think is getting that next promotion? You are, Leo. You are. All right, hope you enjoyed the reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Till next time, love is your superpower.